wow, two years, awesome. And I applied and I didn't get in. And then I realized, oh man, this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. All right, I hope the audio is not too bad. I'm recording on my phone as I'm driving down the highway here. And I'm, uh, I'm on my headphones, which are actually pretty good, surprisingly. I feel like every time I'm on the phone, like no one's complaining about uh, about like ambient noise and stuff. So I think this might actually be a decent recording. But if there's too much road noise, I'm obviously going to toss it. And just maybe record this video some other time. But so this is just one of those things that came to my mind, and I knew I just had to kind of get on video. I might post it. I might not. I have these things like at least a couple times a week that this happens, and then most of the time I end up not posting it either because the quality is so crappy or just because, I don't know, I think about, I don't know, saying it a different way or putting it in a more formal video or just not saying it at all. But something just came to my mind that I feel like a lot of you need to hear right now. A lot of you who follow me who are trying to get into grad school, primarily PA school, and you know how competitive it is. That's why you follow a channel like mine, you know, someone who's been there who's really had to struggle to get in, who, uh, who wasn't a very good student, who wasn't a very competitive applicant at first, and then had to go through the motions and do the things that were necessary to become competitive and finally get in. So, something I think a lot of y'all need to hear is that it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take. It's gonna take as long as it's gonna take. And I think the reason I'm saying this is because I had a pre-PA counseling not too long ago, last week. And I looked over her application, I read her essay, and just wanted to kind of give her a general idea of how she could improve. It wasn't really anything specific she wanted to focus on, it was just a general look at her application, first time applicant. Her essay, basically, it was really powerful, she had a really interesting life story, and it was really powerful, she gave some really great reasons for why she wanted to practice medicine and why she wanted to be in medicine. But the essay suffered from something that a lot of essays unfortunately do, and that was that it wasn't specific. It wasn't really anything specific about why she wanted to be a PA. That essay could have been written about literally anything, why she wanted to be a nurse, a doctor, a podiatrist, a dentist, and I told her this. And so I asked her, okay, specifically, why do you want to be a PA? I understand why you want to practice medicine, it's wonderful. I think you're exactly the kind of person who should be in medicine. You're definitely going to be great wherever you land. But why PA? You know, why this very specific route? And why are you making life hard on yourself by applying to arguably the most, the most competitive uh, field to work in medicine? I mean, med school is probably more competitive, but just by the numbers, I think they've done some studies, like PA school is the most competitive thing you can do. I think med school, like by the numbers, isn't as competitive, but just the quality of the applicants overall is higher, so it's harder to get in overall. Uh, but like just by the sheer numbers, PA school is the most competitive. And so I asked her, like, why are you making life hard on yourself? Why PA? Why do you want to be a PA so bad if you just want to be in medicine? And she told me, it just makes sense. She said that I can be done in two years, and I can, you know, practice. I, I want to be a provider. I don't want to be, I don't want to take orders. I want to give orders. Uh, I want to be a provider. So basically, it's the fastest route to being a provider. You know, two years instead of 10, whatever med school would take. And so I said, okay, that makes sense on paper why you would want to take kind of the fast track, you know, to being a provider. I think that's what attracts a lot of people to being a PA. But unfortunately, unless you are just an outstanding applicant, unless you've been getting very good grades your whole life, and you happen to have an excellent GPA, and you happen to also have a way to get patient care hours, or you've had patient care hours uh, pretty quickly, when you decide that PA is the route for you, unless you have all of that, it's not going to be a fast track. It's not going to be instantaneous, like, okay, I'm applying and I'm going to get in and in two, three years, I'm going to be a PA and I'll be a provider. Like for the vast majority of people, at least for the vast majority of people that come to me, that's just not going to be the case because 
it's very unlikely that you're already competitive for this insanely competitive program. Maybe you are, and maybe you can get in, and that's good. I'm not trying to discourage anyone, but for most people, you don't have an excellent GPA. You don't have a ton of high quality patient care hours. You don't have shadowing. This person that I talked to hadn't even shadowed a PA. She's never worked with a PA. She just like did research on medical jobs and said, literally said to me, like this one made sense. And I told her it made sense on paper. You've never actually seen a PA at work and like know deep down in your soul, like, okay, this is what I want. It just made sense on paper. And so that could still be the career for her. It could still be the career for you. Absolutely. I would never discourage anyone. But what I do want to communicate today is that, uh, sorry, it's early. I haven't finished my coffee, so I'm probably rambling. But uh, if this is what you want, I think that's the main thing. If this is what you want, deep down in your heart, you know this is what you want. You know this is the only thing that you'll be happy doing for the rest of your life at least for the next you know, 10, 15, 20 years, however long your career is gonna be. If you know that, and you're willing to do anything it takes to get that, to become competitive enough to get into a PA school, which is hard, it's very hard, then it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take. It might take you a year to get your grades to where they need to be, to take the prereqs that you need, to get the hours that you need. It might take you a year. It might take you two years. It might take you three years. So that difference of, you know, two years plus residency, obviously, but that difference between med school and PA school, you might have to do that amount of time just to get competitive enough to be in PA school. So it's not necessarily a fast track, at least not for everybody. So it's going to take as long as it's going to take. And if this is what you want, You have to be willing to accept that and be willing to just do whatever it's going to take to get in and make kind of think from the end figure out what is it you need to do make that list of things you need to do you need to do the classes you need to take the people you need to talk to the contacts you need to make the uh the hours you need to get the job that you need to get the shadowing that you need to get the experiences you need to get maybe some volunteering whatever it is you need to do to become competitive that list of things you need to make that list, think from the end, and then commit to knocking out that list of things, no matter what. No matter how long it takes, no matter what you have to do, how many late nights, how many early mornings, like what you have to do, it doesn't matter. You just have to commit that that's what it's gonna be. And it's probably gonna take longer than you want. It's probably gonna take longer than you want it to, than you think it does, or than you think it should. It's not necessarily gonna be a fast track. But as someone who has done exactly what I just told you, who was thinking that originally, like, wow, two years and I could be a provider, awesome. And, you know, have this great lifestyle and, you know, care for people and do this thing that I want to do and make great money. Wow, two years, awesome. And I applied and I didn't get in. And then I realized, oh man, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. But I also knew that it was worth it. And now being here, being done with school, looking ahead at my first job as a PA, I can tell you it was worth it, but it took a lot longer than I thought it would. Have a good day, guys.